This week, I'm moving back to my living room to take care of this boring wall. As you can see, the television is not centered, the wall is left unpainted, and it's just just a little boring. So to spruce it up, I'm going to be adding a wood wall with some floating shelves. I first got started with centering up the television, which was as simple as removing the bracket, finding center, and then reattaching it. After giving the wall a quick coat of paint to match the other existing walls, I then used a level to draw a level line where I wanted my wood wall to stop. Now I'm not going to be carrying the wood wall all the way down to the floor because one, the entertainment center will be blocking it, but then two, I have all these outlets I did not want to mess with. Moving back up to the bracket, I was not going to be able to butt the paneling up against the bracket or the mounting hardware for the television would not be able to go back on. So I held the panel in place at a safe distance and made a mark, then also repeated the process for the lower end of the bracket. I once again used a level to draw a line all across the wall. Before throwing up material, I first located and then marked all my studs. Now I have seen plenty of these walls that are made from real wood, pallet wood, reclaimed wood, all sorts. But I'm personally going to be going with a faux wood panel that you can find at Rockler. It is a urethane composite material that is very lightweight but has an unbelievable real wood look. To attach these boards to the wall, I'm personally going with construction adhesive. Now this does mean if I ever want to remove the panels, then I'm going to have some drywall repair to do. But that doesn't bother me since I do plan for this to be a permanent feature. After applying the construction adhesive to the back of the board, I started applying the wood to the wall. I took my time with this first board, making sure that the placement of the right alignment was exactly where I wanted it to be since the rest of the wall will be lined up to this one. Then of course made sure that it was level with that level line I drew on the wall earlier. I am using an instant grab construction adhesive, but even so, I decided to come back with an 18 gauge brad kneeler and attach it to the studs while that construction adhesive had time to set up a little bit. Perfect. Things look good, so I repeated the process. I would use a tape measure to measure what the next board needed to be cut at. Cut it, and then put it up on the wall in the same fashion. The panels that I'm going with actually come in two different sizes, a wider and a narrower. So just make sure if you're using the same panels that one, you vary up your rows to just add a random looking wall, but then two, you stay consistent with the board size you're using throughout the entire row. So I said earlier that if I ever wanna take this down, I will have drywall repair work to do. If you wanna tackle this project and want the option of taking it down later, then I would recommend first laying down some quarter inch hardboard to the wall. I would do this by attaching it to the studs. Then you can come back and use the construction adhesive to place the paneling on top of the hardboard. For my wall, I tried to vary up my seams as much as possible. So sometimes I would start off with a full board and then other times I would start off with a cutoff. This stuff cuts very easily. I personally was using a project saw that Triton Tools makes for flooring. It works great for anything thin like this. But this paneling also rips really well at a table saw. Whenever I got near the top, I had to rip the boards down to fit. And I ran them through my table saw just like I would any other board. After getting the top done, I repeated the exact same process for the sides as well as the bottom. Once again, making sure whenever I got to the bottom that the board I was about to place was not going to interfere with that television bracket. And I must say, this is by far the easiest project with the most drastic change I've ever done. So I definitely recommend taking it on if you have a bare wall or just looking for a good beginner project. With that done, I could then mount the television, of course with a little help, and then center it on the wall. And I really could have stopped here, but I thought the wall was still a little plain and it was also very dark. So I decided to add a few white floating shelves. However, I didn't want the space to look overly crowded. So I decided to add one floating shelf on the left, but three on the right. Since I plan to paint the shelves, I'm making mine from a two by eight pine board. I set up a stop block at my miter saw and first cut all of my boards to length. I used my router to apply a Roman OG profile to the bottom of the shelves, then gave them all a quick sanding before sealing the knots. Remember, if you paint anything white and don't seal the knots, they will eventually bleed through. To attach these to the wall, I'm using some hardware specifically made for floating shelves. 
I first located the studs and attached two mounting brackets to the wall, using a small level to make sure that they were in line with one another. And if you'd like more information on anything I'm using in the video, I have left the links down in the description. After getting both of the mounting brackets attached to the wall, I transferred the marks over to the floating shelves. I took the shelves back to the workshop and clamped them in my super jaws, then used a router with a straight bit to mortise out where the brackets would fall on the shelves. This will allow these brackets to be sunk into the shelf to where you won't be able to see them if you walk up to the shelf and look down on it. This hardware comes with two rods that attach to those mounting brackets. So next I drilled the corresponding holes for these rods to go. After repeating for all of the shelves, I could then attach the rods to those mounting brackets and then start hanging my floating shelves. And the very last step was to decorate the shelves with some knickknacks. Personally, I'm really pleased with the project, not only with how easy it was, but also just how much it changed the look of this space. Now that I've finished this wall, I am dying to build an entertainment center. Isn't that the way things go? But I hope that you enjoyed this video. Big thank you to Rockler for supporting my channel, and I will see y'all on whatever my next project is.